And we're back, guys. Tennis in a minute. I'm your host, Good Energy. We are in the studio again, taking a look at my top prospects for 24. This is a teenager list. We are focusing on the C17 four and coming in at number four. Boy, is she super duper talented, ladies and gentlemen. From the Czech Republic, Sarah Balek. She's 17 years old and Boy, has she accomplished so much at such an early age. Just this past month, we've seen Sarah reach her career high on the World Tour rankings. She's currently ranked 129th. She's got several ITF championships, and she's a junior Grand Slam winner. Sarah had a career high junior ranking of 43 in singles, and she made six junior singles championship appearances, where she won two of them. A grade three title in Romania in 2020, and a grade five title in Egypt. But the big junior championship came on the doubles end, where in 22, she won the French Open Clay Championship with her partner, Linda Halikova. Sarah stands at only 5'2", and she's a handful for opponents to deal with. Her favorite shot's her left two-handed backhand, and just being left-handed alone with her explosiveness is a tough match for anyone. Sarah's popularity started to grow as she joined the ITF women's circuit. She has already made nine championship appearances while winning three 60K tournaments. Amazing. And she's actually one of the few players on this list that can say she's made it into multiple Grand Slam main draw appearances. Three to be exact. The Australian Open this year, the Roland Garros this year, but the first coming last year at the US Open where she took out Heather Watson in the third round of qualifiers in what was an amazing match that I covered. Before this exciting three set thriller with Heather Watson in the first round, Sarah took out Kristina Mladenovic in three sets, Priscilla Hahn in straight sets, but this third round victory over Heather Watson would be followed with much controversy. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, in case you missed the match, her father slash coach sparked an outrage with the tennis community with the way he greeted his daughter in victory. Not only did he kiss her, he proceeded to rub his hand on her behind area, as well as her other coach. I'm not sure if that's an acceptable greeting in the Czech Republic, but in the States, this is something that's frowned upon. But hey, I'll let you guys be the judge of that. Sarah would go on to make the first round of the US Open main draw where she would lose in straight sets to Ludmilla Samsonova. But that's okay, because she would come right back at the Australian Open and make the main draw, ladies and gentlemen. She took out number one seed Alicia Parks in the second round of qualifiers, and that was a huge upset the tennis world couldn't believe. Alicia Parks started things off with her strong serving and went up a break early in the first set, but Sarah fought back and broke back and would force a tiebreak, ladies and gentlemen. She would actually lose the first set tiebreak, but she would come back and win the second set 6-4. She committed three double faults and had only two winners, but she forced Alicia Parks into 48 unforced errors and converted on six of nine break points. Sarah came into this match a 4-1 underdog and she would ride a high wave of confidence into the third set, where she would break Alicia Parks multiple times, winning 6-2. She used her wide serve and volley and left down the line with explosive quickness to defeat Alicia Parks. She would advance to the third round of qualifiers where she would win in straight sets against Erica and Dreva. And once again, Sarah Balak would make it to the main draw of a Grand Slam tournament. In the first round, she would face fellow countrywoman Barbora Kachikova, who would beat her in straight sets 6-3-6-1. That was a good learning experience for the young teenager, and she found herself at the French Open qualifiers, attempting to make the main draw in another Grand Slam tournament. In the first round of qualifiers, she took out Hartona in a three-set thriller. The second round of qualifiers, she got the victory against Zhao in straight sets. In the third round of qualifiers, she would beat Harun Kakova in straight sets 6-4, 6-4 to advance to the French Open first round draw. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, but she would lose in straight sets to Camilla Rakimova, 6-love, six 6-3. Six Despite the early exit at the French Open this year and the previous Grand Slams, Sarah Balek's only 17 and her career is very bright. Last year, she had a 35-win season with 27 wins on clay, and she actually won 42 matches this year with 36 coming on clay. Her greatest accomplishment so far is winning WTA Colina, where she took out several big names, including Anna Bondar in three sets, Panna Yadvardi in three sets, Nadia Podoroska in three sets, and Diane Perry in the championship match 
6261, where I told you guys to take Sarah to win that match. Sarah has a great serve and volley like most Czech Republican players, but she's also left-handed, so she has a left down the line that makes it tough for most opponents to return. She has amazing topspin to back up defenders, but her explosiveness being only 5-2, she can play the net and explode vertically, making it tough for most opponents to defend her left forehand backed up with her short balls. Sarah reminds me of a young Simona Halep, and of all the ladies on this list, I think she's the most explosive. She is very, very fast. Watch out for Sarah in the upcoming season. I do think this is going to be her best season on tour. Having accomplished her highest ranking so far this past November of 128, I think she will break the top 100 this year. At age 17, Sarah has already defeated several top 50 players, and I think the best is yet to come. Number four on my list of top prospects to watch out for the upcoming season from the Czech Republic, Sarah Balak. I'm your host, Good Energy. This is Tennis in a Minute, and stay tuned for the top three. We'll be right back. 